My name is Dr. Arda Tagavi, and my assistant and I will be informing you about the pneumonectomy surgery you will undergo as part of your treatment plan. We will be addressing what the pneumonectomy procedure is used for, as well as other important information you'll need to know. Some of the details we'll be going over include what types of disorders this procedure treats, possible reasons why your doctor has recommended this surgery for you, what you must do in order to prepare for a pneumonectomy, a step-by-step -step description of the procedure, and post-surgery recovery and care information. First, we'll talk to you about what a pneumonectomy surgery is used for. A pneumonectomy is a surgery performed in order to remove a lung or a section of a lung. It is most commonly used as a treatment for lung cancer. However, it may also be used if a patient has severe chest injury. The types of disorders this procedure has the ability to treat include lung cancer through the surgical remover, removal of the affected area of the lung. It can also be the most appropriate treatment for a tumor located in the center of the patient's lungs, which is affecting the pulmonary artery or veins, the transporters of blood between the heart and lungs. Possible reasons why a doctor would recommend this procedure to a patient if any of the following symptoms are severely evident in the patient. A relentless ongoing cough, coughing up blood, infections such as persistent bronchitis or pneumonia, a shortness, a shortness of breath, wheezing and bone pain. In order to prepare for a pneumonectomy, a patient's doctor will order extensive testing of the patient's lungs before he or she undergoes the surgery. Along with this, the doctor will confirm that one of the patient's lungs has the capability to take over the body's breathing workload as the person's oxygen intake capacity will ultimately be halved. The doctor will also ensure that the patient's heart is healthy enough to undergo such a surgery. Next, the patient will undergo a series of blood tests and scans which will confirm the cancer is not spread to any other region of the patient's body. One week prior to the surgery, the patient must stop the intake of any aspirin, anti-inflammatory, and blood-thinning medication in preparation for the pneumectomy. Most importantly, one night before the surgery, the patient must not eat or drink anything. Now we will inform you of the step-by-step -step procedure to the pneumonectomy surgery. First of, all, first of all, the surgeon will cut a large opening into the chest on the same side of the diseased lung. Secondly, the surgeon will collapse the lung and tie off the major blood vessels to prevent any bleeding into the chest cavity. Then the surgeon will clamp the main bronchus that leads to the diseased lungs to prevent fluid from entering the air passage and cut through the bronchus separating the lungs. Next, the surgeon will remove the lung and staple the end of the bronchus that has been cut and make sure that there are no air that there is no air escaping. Finally, the operator will insert a temporary drainage tube between the layers of the pleura to draw air or any fluid out of the surgical cavity and then close the incision in the chest. We will now be informing you about the aftercare and approximate recovery after the surgery. A patient who has had a conventional pneumonectomy will usually leave a hospital within 10 days of the procedure. Aftercare during hospitalizations focus on relieving pain, monitoring the patient to walk in order to prevent the formation of blood clots, and encouraging the patient to cough in order to clear accumulated lung secretions. Recovering from a pneumectomy is usually a slow process, with the remaining lung gradually taking on the work of the lung that has been removed. The patient may gradually resume normal, non-strenuous activities. A pneumonectomy patient who does not experience complications after they've undergone this procedure may well enough may be well enough within the eight weeks to return to a job that is not physically demanding. However, 60% of all pneumonectomy patients continue to struggle with shortness of breath six months after having surgery.